This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. If you're watching shows on this channel, then you're probably a fan of lizards. If not, you may not enjoy this video. There are over 6,000 known species of lizard, but today we're only going to focus on five of the absolute weirdest. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching Five Weird Animal Facts. Number one on our list is an animal that is a well-known ambassador to the Australian outback, the thorny devil. Contrary to what its name suggests, this animal is completely harmless. They're slow-moving and non-aggressive, relying on their camouflage and spiky scales to deter predators. These guys can make the list just based on their appearance, but they also have one of the coolest evolutionary adaptations for dealing with hot, arid conditions. Like most desert-dwelling reptiles, they don't need a whole lot of water to survive. But when they do need a drink, they don't just dip their mouth in some puddle and start to gulp it down. That's the boring way. Here's the cool way. The thorny devil's body is covered in a system of channels that run between its scales. All of these channels lead to the corners of its mouth. Here's the sciencey part. The channels absorb water through something called capillary action. Capillary action is the ability of a liquid to flow in a certain direction without the aid of external forces such as gravity. Using capillary action, thorny devils are able to get a drink by rubbing up against dewdrops on leaves, allowing rain to fall on their backs, and even just by dipping their feet in a puddle. Number two dips its feet in the water for a completely different reason. Meet the green basilisk, one of four basilisk species which all carry the same common nickname, the Jesus Christ lizard. Lizards in the genus Basiliscus have earned this nickname due to their remarkable ability to run on water. Used as a way to escape predators, these animals are able to run on water due to their specially designed hind feet. Their long toes are fringed with scales that spread out as their feet strike the water. The main key to their messiah-like ability is maintaining speed. Basilisks can run on water at an impressive 1.5 meters per second and are able to hold this stride for about 5 meters before sinking onto all fours and swimming. To manage a feat like this, an adult human would have to run 65 miles per hour. So unless you're Barry Allen, you're going to have trouble competing with a basilisk. Those last two lizards looked really cool. Number three, however, looks kind of phallic. This is Bypass biporus, also known as the Mexican Mole Lizard. Animals in the genus Bypass are classified as Amphisbanians, and there's been some debate in the scientific community about whether or not these animals are true lizards. But for this conversation, let's just say that they are. This 24 centimeter long reptile spends almost all of its time underground, digging through the soil using its very powerful but small front legs. Why doesn't it use its back legs? Because it doesn't have any. Evolving to better suit a subterranean lifestyle, its hind legs have disappeared, leaving behind only vestigial bones visible in x-rays. It's an opportunistic carnivore, eating insects, earthworms, larvae, small lizards, and pretty much anything else it can fit in its mouth. It's also worth noting that some people in Baja, California, Mexico believe that if a person sits on the ground outside, the mole lizard may actually burrow up from the soil and enter their digestive system through their anus. Who comes up with crap like this? Number 4. Phrynocephalus mysticaeus, the secret toad-headed agama. So what's this lizard's big secret? When threatened, the secret toad-headed agama unfolds bright red skin flaps around its mouth and hisses to scare off predators. Other than that, it's a pretty ordinary lizard. Its diet consists mainly of insects, it lives in the hot desert regions of the Middle East, and sometimes it does this. So yeah. Weird lizard number five is a small creature that's native to the jungles of Borneo and the Philippines, although it looks more like a native to the seven kingdoms of Westeros. Meet the Draco lizard, whose elongated set of ribs give it the ability to glide up to 30 feet. Evolving the ability to glide from tree to tree means that the Draco doesn't have to worry about bumping into predators on the forest floor. In fact, other than when females descend to lay their eggs, Dracos spend their entire lives in the branches. Male Draco lizards are extremely territorial animals and claim two or three trees as their property. If he spots a trespasser in one of his trees, he'll use his ability to glide to chase the rival away. With all the bright coloration and scaly wings, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is in fact a baby dragon. Thanks for watching. What do you think so far about this season of Game of Thrones? Do you watch Game of Thrones? Let me know in the comments down below. Nerd out with me. While you're there, go ahead and tell me what animals and topics you'd like to see in future episodes. Like Five Weird Animal Facts on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miller's Wildlife because I post really awesome stuff like this. Make sure to hit that magic subscribe button for more awesome animal things and stuff and I will see you next Monday on Five Weird Animal Facts. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert, and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World.
This is ABTV.